Sup all, JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on the best shoe from each NBA star's signature line. We'll be looking at current signature athletes from Nike, Adidas, and Under Armour. And by current, that doesn't mean that they still have to be playing, but still be a signature athlete that their brand continues to make shoes for. If you haven't yet, here's a reminder to check out my past couple of videos. Of course, after you finish watching this one. The NBA playoffs are right around the corner, so until then, and even after then, I got more shoe-themed videos coming. And if you like these, then go ahead and leave a thumbs up on this video and comment your feedback down below on if you agree with my list or not. That lets me know if you want more videos. That lets me know that you're interested. So thanks for doing that and let's get going. While it is impossible to make a list like this without being somewhat subjective, here is the rating scale I'm implementing today. So number one is gonna be aesthetics. The shoe has to look good to me and to a wide audience. Number two is performance. Even if the shoe looks great, if it was terrible or is terrible to play in, then it can't make this list. And number three has gotta be popularity. Was it popular upon release and is it a coveted sneaker today on resale sites? All right, starting with Nike and the Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant. Bryant officially has 15 signature shoes with the swoosh. His 15th will be coming out this month, the Kobe AD NXT 360. Now, the newer models have better tech and should perform better than the older models but that is why I'm not basing this on performance alone. Brian's best signature model from his Nike line comes from 2010 and it's the Kobe 6 Christmas Day Grinch colorway. Bryant wore this on Christmas Day in 2010 when the Lakers hosted the newly assembled Miami Heat and although he scored just 17 in a 96 to 80 loss, these shoes have skyrocketed in value over the years. First, the aesthetics are great. This was Kobe's second low top signature Nike sneaker and the snakeskin upper had never been seen before and it perfectly embodied the Mamba mentality. Performance wise, these shoes were also great with a solid rubber outsole and herringbone traction pattern, zoom units in the heel and forefoot. The original retail price of the Grinch was $130 on December 25th, 2010. It now has an average resale price of $792, 303.8% over original retail price, making this one of the most sought after Kobe shoes ever. LeBron James is now onto his 15th signature shoe with Nike, not to mention his secondary line of soldiers with the company. James's shoes, albeit popular over the years, have always been on the bulkier side, but for a player like LeBron, he needs all the support he can get. The best shoe from LeBron's signature line is the LeBron 8 South Beach. The shoe features a teal upper, a prominent Nike swoosh, and a lion image on the tongue. Performance wise, the tech specs are pretty good for when it was released. A full length Max Air 360 unit for cushioning in the midsole, flywire technology in the forefoot for lockdown. This shoe released on October 16th, 2010 for 160 bucks. It now resells at an average of 701 bucks, a 392.5% premium over retail. Kevin Durant and Nike have released 10 signature shoes with an 11th just around the corner, not to mention his KD Trey 5 secondary line. Durant has experimented with a strap on some models and the best KD ever has to be the KD4 Nerf. Aesthetically the shoe features a royal blue upper with paint splatter throughout the strap and midsole. The KD35 logo on the tongue references the old school Nerf basketball hoop logo. Performance wise this shoe featured a hyperfuse upper, zoom unit in the forefoot and strap for lockdown. Due to this being a limited release at only a handful of stores throughout the world and coming with unique packaging, literally a Nerf hoop was included, sold out quickly on December 17, 2011 at $125. Today it resells on average for $1340, a 580% premium over retail. Kyrie Irving and Nike released the Kyrie 4 this past December, but it's the Kyrie 1, Pepsi Uncle Drew, that claims the spot as Irving's best signature model. Aesthetically, this shoe features a white upper and gum outsole, something rarely seen in shoes. The insole includes an Uncle Drew image, and the swoosh includes Uncle Drew saying, of don't reach young blood and get buckets. Performance wise, the Kyrie 1 features a breathable hyperfuse upper, a forefoot frame that maximizes for lateral stability, and a zoom unit in the forefoot. There were only 150 pairs of the Pepsi Uncle Drew that released on November 1st, 2015 that came with a locker type kit as well. These never hit retail but are now reselling with the lowest current ask being $59.90. To round out the five current Nike signature athletes, Paul George is currently playing in the PG2. With only two signatures to pick from, the best shoe from George and Nike goes to the PG1 EYBL. The EYBL colorway of Georgia's first signature model features a black suede upper that fades into mesh in the toe box. The colorful tongue and collar of the shoe is implemented to represent Nike's yearly Peach Jam tournament that features top high school prospects. With 
the forefoot strap for lockdown, front loaded zoom unit in the forefoot, and a solid durable rubber outsole. The PG1 performs great on any court. The PG1 EYBL released on May 13, 2017 for $110 and resells at an average price of $436, a 218.2% premium markup above retail. On to Adidas and their biggest star, James Harden. With just two signature models to pick from, Harden's best iteration is the Volume 2 I'ma Be A Star. Aesthetically, the shoe draws from the first ever Harden shoe created, the Volume 1 I'ma Be A Star. With gold three-stripe branding and a black upper, this shoe is solid. Performance-wise, well, you can just watch my video on why Harden switched to Adidas to hear all about that. Seriously. Check that out. The Volume 2 I'ma Be A Star was a one-time release on Adidas website on February 28, 2018 for $140. Average resale price is $220, a 78.6% premium over retail. Damian Lillard has been lights out on the court this season and Adidas partnered with Bape to drop his best shoe ever, the Dame 4, a bathing ape red. Aesthetically, the shoe features WGM or World Gone Mad on the upper with camo red. The famous Bape teeth stretch their way along the outsole. Performance wise, the Dame Force feature a ventilated mesh upper that locks the foot in securely, a full length bounce cushioning in the midsole. The Dame 4, a bathing ape red, released on February 16, 2018, exclusively at 747 Warehouse Street in LA for All Star Weekend. The average resale price is that number that no one wants to say. Rounding out Adidas is Derrick Rose, who, yes, still has a signature shoe that Adidas is contractually obligated to make for him every season. Now on the D Rose, Rose and Adidas has put out a lot of great content throughout the years. His best shoe, the Adi Zero Rose, black, red, and white, is a simple looking yet innovative model. It features sprint skin monomesh to make the shoe more breathable and lighter, and pure motion to keep the foot balanced and encourage natural movement. It weighs in at 12.8 ounces. It dropped in October of 2010. And all you really need to know is that I remember seeing a lot of players wearing this when I played AAU ball then, so the more you know. Finally, Under Armour single. Signature star athlete Steph Curry is onto his fifth signature model with the company. Through five models, the Curry One Dub Nation remains the best. The shoe features Warriors colors throughout the entirety of the silhouette, and performance was good for Curry's first UA model. With the charged and anifoam midsole, a full length herringbone traction pattern on the outsole, and an external TPU heel counter that assists in lockdown. The Curry One helped UA establish new records in footwear sales and introduce something new to fans around the world. The Curry One Dub Nation released on May 22, 2015 for $120 and it doesn't hurt that the first time fans saw Curry sporting these on the court, the Warriors won their first championship in 40 years. This colorway resells at an average of $257, 58.3% above the original retail price. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. What are the best shoes from each current NBA signature athlete? Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback in the comments down below and we'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon, JC3, out.